Happy Sunday. <clears throat> Happy Sunday, my powerful MVP family. My powerful donors. My powerful prayer warriors. My powerful uplifters. Thank you for coming together to be the wind beneath the wings of the MPP family. So this morning I am here, all is well on this side of the world in New England. Um, the kids are okay. Had the grandkids yesterday. Had my daughter-in-law and my son hanging out until 10 p.m. last night. The kids are growing up, and I'm so grateful to God. You know, what we see, some people see as, oh, my God, it's too much. I am thankful to God for it because the kids are normal. They're healthy. They're filled with vim, vigor, and vitality. And you just watch them just do the things that their age group does. And you're just happy you listen to Grace and his four, and he's able to read. And I'm like, he's looking at the packet on the, the fruit snack, and he's looking at it. I said, what is this? What is this word? Looks at it as a fruit. I said, what is this word? And he sounds it out, snacks. And I'm like, whoa, glory to God. You're pointing to words, and he's reading. No, I said. So you put in the word, guys. You will get the you will get the results that you you invest a little bit. You don't look for much. You invest a little bit. Look back for a little little bit. If you invest enough, then you can look back for something good. You can look for a good yield. Um, as we have to as we sow the seeds, we have to remember there are going to be some that falls. Uh, in thorny grounds and some that are going to fall on the rocks. So you have to put in so much more so that enough will fall on good soil and bring forth the results that you're looking for. So today is on that premise that I'm here saying thank you donors who have supported the Blessing Soup Kitchen. And those of you who can donate your money, you were donating your uplifting words you, you encourage, you support it. Those of you who give money and uh, powerful words of upliftment also kept praying for the success of the Soul Kitchen. And today, guys, I'm going to share with you the video, um, two short videos, and just so that you, your hearts can feel the way my heart feels as we get ready to make sure that those who are in need will get the resources that they that they, they deserve. These people, they're not criminals. These are people who work hard in the farm, on the farmlands. And now we come to this time when something, you know, something, because Jamaica, what they're able to give them, maybe 2000 for the month. You know that the homes that we have highlighted, Bev Brown highlighted, they didn't have electricity. They didn't have running water. These were living in the at the lowest, lowest level of poverty. They, they're poor. So we're not helping people who have. We are helping those who do not have enough and will never have enough to live grand lives, but we're just helping to make them comfortable as they continue on their journey. So my people, thank you again. Thank you from the depths of my heart uh, for believing in me, for supporting me, and to make this what it is. And now we have a beautiful kitchen. You're going to see how Bev Brown has just... It's not about Bev Brown, even though it's above, about Bev Brown. But it's about what Bev Brown does and how she did it and why we need to continue to support. I see that we're still getting some funds. Thank you, UK. You are so, so totally awesome. And as I say before, and God has heard me, and I know that many times we are going on and we, we are saying, you know, but how come God haven't 
answered my prayers. I want this. I would like to have. And it, it didn't happen right away. But don't ever think that the kind of things that you have done is going to notice. God notices it. That's what God wants us to do. And in time, he's going to just pour you out so much blessings. That for me, when when all my struggles in life coming up, and but I still push through, I still push through. And, and then see now in my older age, how oh God has made it. So, 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 like, these heap of blessings just, just came. So we have to be patient and don't look to throw the corn out today and accept that the corn will blossom and bloom and bring forth good yields in one day. No, it takes time. You know, the seeds germinate. You have to water them, keep watering them, and then they bust out of the ground and then they start developing. They start developing, and the sunlight shines on them and warms them, and the rain comes and water them, and they continue to flourish, and then boom, the yielding comes, and you're happy because it comes right on time. So again, again, my people, I love all of you. I respect you. I thank you for your love, for your encouragement, for your support. And so here, be blessed, just like I've been blessed. And remember as you go forth, just do good because it's a good thing. Plant the seeds, no matter what, just plant them and keep moving. You don't have to sit down and watch them grow. Just plant them and go. Just plant them and continue going. Be blessed, my family. Be blessed. <laughs>